as children, our parents were our gods. And if we haven't healed our relationship with our parents, we'll naturally have a hesitation to turn towards God if we haven't replaced this God image with something that is more accurate, more up to date to where we are today. So I feel that before we can actually transcend and move into a new form of spirituality, a new religion, we actually need to bow down backwards and see how can we heal the wound that we have in our individual lives with our parents, for example, as a representation of God. Exactly. And there's there's always this interaction of like individual and collective. It's like I tend to say, you know, uh, if we haven't healed our blueprint relationships, which is our relationship with our parents, there is tends to be kind of two reactions. Like either I'm going to try to be like them, right? Because they were heroes and gods. It's like, oh, I want to, or I have such a, a, it's a fallen God. I have such a distaste for them. I will try to do everything possible to not be like them. But actually in that reactivity, you still own and possess and don't have freedom to really be yourself.